Hi and welcome to the brewery. So uh, just finished work, an impromptu day off tomorrow. Um, I was on strike on Monday of last week and Friday. So a bit of a short week. Um, so uh, just cut the grass out there. It's a lovely day now. We did have some rain this afternoon, but it's fantastic. Um, do you remember this lager? This is the experimental lager with all the um, hops that I had left. So I made um, like a, a pale ale plus uh, this lager. So I thought we'll give it a go, see what it's like. Let's get the pop. Yes, and some good smoke there. Right, let's see if we can uh, see what the pour's like. Oh, let me just uh, get this. There we go. That's much better. Here we go. Well, it's uh, nicely carbonated anyway. It's quite clear. To be fair to it, it's just been in the freezer, chilling out. Oh, nice bit of head in there now. Yeah, bit of chill here is because it's been in the freezer, but yeah, pressed to that. The aroma is lager as you'd expect. The head's gone though, not much of a head on it. But let's see how it tastes. Wow, just what you need on a hot summer's day after a bit of work. Um, disappointed that the head dissipated as quickly as it has. It's like I've just poured a cider, really. Um, but no, but it's definitely a, a pilsner. I was a bit concerned that um, it would be quite bitter, um, but it's had about six, seven weeks to condition. So uh, it's mellowed out very nicely. Um, very impressed with that. Um, I've got another two beers. The Bragdebach APA American Pale Ale I made. I'll, um, we'll have a look at that one after as well. And the, the Motoweka one I did. So both in the freezer. We'll give them a go in a bit. So for now, back to the garden. Sunshades on. And uh, finish off this beer. I'll see you in a bit. Well, that went down far too quick, but there we go. That's why we brew. So we go the Bragdebach American Pale Ale, four point nine percent, and I bottled this on the twenty seventh of May this year, and um, been in the freezer. So a bit of a chill haze, I suspect. Um, I wanted them cold, really, for this lovely hot summer's day that we have here. So without further ado. Let's get this uh, bottle open. Ooh, that's a oh, well, that's a failure. That is a failure. Or is it? Let's see. Oh no 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 no! It's great. It's conditioned. As we concerned, then no pop. That is okay, or it looks okay. What do you reckon? American Pale Ale, 4.9. It's um, much more gold than it looks. Um, amber on the screen there, but it's a bit more golden than that. I'll give it that. So let's give it a... Um, the aroma oh yeah it's very hoppy um, not very well you know unless it's something like a Nipa uh, where you can get you know tropical notes and stuff um, bounce around the, the, the glass um, malty as well I don't know 
we don't smell it do we we drink it so uh, without further ado let's see if it's conditioned at least that is very nice um quite orangey um Now that there's some space in the glass, I can really get in and have a good... Yeah, it's very strict. <coughs> Great mouthfeel. Um, multi, and then it just hits in the back of the, um, the throat. It's very... Um, quite floral actually there's a, a beer I used to get from Asda Badgers made it I can't remember the name of it but Badgers beer and um, I think it was something like a summer ale or something like that and I used to love that years ago I think that's the kind of beer that started me off on um, like craft ales as such um, I was quite into bitters really you know John Smith's and Guinness and stuff like that uh, and I think that really started to um, get me into the f uh, the IPAs and stuff like that. So, and it actually tastes a bit like that. I like that very much. I think. Let me just check. I've got about eight bottles of that on the shelf there so I'm happy with that right I'll be back for the next one we're going to finish this off in the garden I'll see you in a bit well another one bites the dust so we've got Motueka Pacific Jade 3rd of May 5.6% left it in a bit longer than I should have there's a bit of a an icicle in there Let's give it a go, see what happens. There we go, it's a bit more gas. I think it's the freezing that's stopping it from popping. But let's go, let's see what it looks like in there. Definitely a chill haze, I can see that as it's pouring. Very well conditioned, as you can see, there's a great head on that beer. Blob of ice gone in there. So if you're happy, I'm more than happy. Not much aroma to that. Should be. But it's quite cold. Let's dive in. When it's cold like this, it's quite subdued on flavour and aroma. But that beautiful beer nonetheless. There's a lot of chill haze on this. Shouldn't have put it into the freezer that long, really. Probably been in 40 45 minutes, but um, I'll enjoy this, it's a great beer. So, I've got the Dortmund that exports in there. I'm going to pop up a grain to glass video on that one, and um, so looking forward to that. Um, I've got um, the Velin Royal Extra Special Bitter that's on as well. Get a video out on that as well. Um, tomorrow I'm going for a Milky Stout. Yeah, getting ready for autumn as I've said before. 
So uh, just a quick catch up guys really, um, everything's okay, slow down a bit, I'm not too sure what your concerns are with regards to the price of electricity going up and especially in October um, with all the the boiling of water that we do for you know like an hour at a time uh, usually plus the um, HLT for sparging. Um, it will increase the price, won't it? You know, and it is what it is. It's probably still cheaper than going out and paying five pound a pint, or you might be paying a lot more than that. But I'm paying about three fifty to four quid uh, uh, around here. Um, if you want a Guinness, obviously it's a bit bit more, four pound fifty. Talking about Guinness, went down, to, uh, went out to Dublin a couple of weeks back and had a weekend there. And uh, really enjoyed that. Uh, it's a great weekend, quite warm there. To be fair, um, stuck on the Guinness more than anything, and um, it's always a good place to go, isn't it? You know, very fortunate. I'm about twenty five minutes away, drive time from the port here, two three hours on the boat, and 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 you're over and. Uh, so I thoroughly enjoyed that weekend. We do it quite often here, so it's it's nothing new. We get to know the pubs, etc. But yeah, really enjoyed it. So um, it's just a quick catch up, really. A few beers this evening, as I said, day off tomorrow, and um, yeah. So uh, I'm hoping for a great brew day tomorrow. Get the third foot winter on, and. Um, Look forward to some uh, autumnal beers. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Yechida, as we say in Wales. Diolch Thank you. Take care. I'll see you soon.